The man, the myth, the legend. The Phil. Dr. Sully, say what you like about Dr. Sully. This was a bad time for this, wasn't it? Someone flash beast, my brother in Christ. I think they've got that covered. Dr. Sully, a little bit too self-obsessed. And Stella, a little bit too unhinged. No nonsense, Phil, with this old man I'm getting me shovel energy is exactly the type of guy we need in this colony. Phil just wants to live his life, build his base, and he's getting pissed off with all these anomalies. And my God. I don't think I've ever sympathized more with a character. Speaking of anomalies, a couple of things. We've got to do a little spring cleaning, okay? Firstly, I'm a, I'm a very small fish in an absolutely unfathomably large sea. This is not my fault, okay? The revenants, I can't be held accountable for that. I'm a total nobody. Right? Ludion, do not watch my stuff. I'm not taking the blame for the revenants being fireproof. Unless I put a lot of eyes on it, I'm not taking the blame for it. Secondly, much more importantly... My only real complaint about the DLC has been resolved in this massive update post. The, uh, the long and the short of it is effectively they're merging Anomaly a bit more closely with the game. The one thing that I have complained about. For me, I do a lot of horror theme mod packs. So it wasn't some sort of immediate concern, but they have apparently started integrating it much more closely with the base game. You see a lot more base game events during Anomaly, and you won't see as many Anomaly things unless you actively pursue it with the monolith study and that type of thing, which is awesome. That was, that was obviously the only, I wouldn't even call it a complaint, but certainly a concern that I had. Again, I certainly doubt that anyone in Ludion watches this shit, so I can only assume this was a large a complaint for the community. I don't go on Reddit and I don't, uh, I'm not in any other servers. I don't follow anything. I keep myself as far away from the internet as possible. I can only assume this was a much larger complaint for a lot of people, but overall, great change. Fantastic news. That's fantastic news, and this might be underselling it a little bit. Half my colony have voluntary brain damage. Voluntary part is me not going out there smashing that psychic suppressor. Hello there, gun turrets. Couple of places I want to go that I think would be good to go. Better turrets, or better yet, Hospital beds? Ooh, but maybe hydroponics in case we get... No, no, no. Let's, let's do the hospital beds first. Put it on the list. With all of our collected bioferrite, I've started bioferrite. Oh, apparently we've got a significant amount more. Okay, fair enough. I've started playing the floors in apprehension of bigger, more frightening enemies. So this one's also got 103 as well. That's apparently more than enough for the... Uh, for the Revenant. Oh, God. I hope that wasn't fate. Oh, it's a tough spike. That's okay. We can deal with that. Hello there. Oh, don't kill the damn thing, for God's sake. Honestly, I think this is by a fair right well spent. We've had enough problems to last us a lifetime, thank you. A very frequent comment I saw on the last couple of episodes. When we had Cleft in prison, we could have apparently examined them, try and figure out what they are, do some sort of uh, invasive surgical procedure. Obviously a little bit irrelevant, given that Cleft just did a 360 and walked away without me being able to stop them. Ah, the negotiator. Hello there. Uh, no, no, actually show me the map, though. It was only one enemy, two enemies, and a turret. Oh, I'm glad I sent this many. I'm not pissing around anymore. Very frequently, I would just be like, okay, wh whatever. Let's just send let's just send our one best colonist in to go and flush them out. Not anymore. I'm being careful and brave and sensible and, dare I say, even smart. As in, like, playing the game slightly as intended. <laughs> Do I want to take any of these people? Sickly and kind? Absolutely not. Trigger happy shooting 12? Ah, uh, there's an argument there, but maybe not. Good components. Let me take all this crap apart as well, please. Can I slag chunk? I can I drop chunks now, do they? From Rimworld. Have they always dropped chunks? I feel like the diseases are a lot more common too, eh? Three of your colonists have got sick from malaria. Dr. Sully, butt and oh. <laughs> Silly names. Silly names. Good colony, bad names. Draw shamblers. I've already done that one once. We don't need to do that again. Oh. Now, hello there. Oh, God. Uh, is that no German plantation? Turn someone into a sanguifage? I mean, that would be a good power to have against all sorts of frightening anomalies. Like, quite literally, an unkillable character would be good. A character that thrives in darkness, too, in case you get another... In case you get another darkness event. Oh, God. Who would become the sanguifage? Dr. Sully. Phil, Phil, I feel like he's got his own thing going on. Stella's got her own thing going on as well. Let me have a look through here. Who would be the best sanguifage for us? Does anybody have, like, a... Like a, like a trait or something that... Undergrounder for Cletus, Cletus. Cletus the Vampire. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. Now suck your blood. <laughs> you know I gotta do it. I'm sorry, you know I have to do that. <laughs> Jonathan, you're petting my dog. Sorry, I know that name's more universal than that's just what comes to my mind. An Appalachian man wearing like triple or potentially even quadruple denim. But, like a suspiciously stained hat chasing a deer with a wrench. You know, that, 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 type, of, that type of lovely fella. Hello there. Hey, listen. We need to probably brick this up. That's my bad, but this is definitely security. But you can't... Please go through the front door. Now, we've got a bigger question, haven't we? Revenant invisibility. A lot of people, after seeing Phil's epic hunt, which I think is an apt description, said that that is a fantastic gift for Phil himself, a reward for his good efforts, make, giving him the, the very spine of the Revenant that he himself killed. 
Would he be into that? Or does he just want to live a simple life? Well, that's a good question. Um, Ghoul Resurrection, yes, please. Maybe we can bring back Connie Rollman. So everyone's saying, oh, you need the allow tool fix to make it so the shamblers. I've had it since, like, episode two. Since it was first ever recommended to me. I don't know if I can see his stats. Well, but yeah, clearly capable of melee right there. As you don't know, if you're using the allow tool mod, which, uh, I mean, why aren't you? You should be. It's, uh, it's arguably the most important mod ever made. If you have that, apparently it disables the melee stats on shamblers and ghouls. But I've had that for fix for a very long time. It's all good. Uh, what? Join offer from Ferret. Ferret believes she's happy at Pro Oasis. She wishes to join you permanently. Hello. Oh, it's a Sanguif. What? What? Just have your fucking meeting. What are you talking about? Oh, you want to join me as well? Do I still get my implantation if you join? I mean, are you any good? You, well, I mean, yeah, you are. D double. My I'm looking at the passions here, and I'm thinking if I stick you in the quarry. 24 7 or alternatively i could get you to bike collectors just in case this quest doesn't work which has a habit of doing occasionally sure welcome aboard meeting complete they will now give you your reward oh will they oh they actually will holy shit cletus my man come get your reward my guy it actually works nicholson has implanted a copy of his energy i'm into cletus you get them arrested i mean uh, the, the anomaly seems to be uh arco technology influenced this is Arco technology right here. I'm just gonna let them leave. We've got two sanguifage. Let's not be greedy. Surgical inspection. Shall we find out? Oh, it even says an invasive surgery. Incredible. Success rate multiplier 150%. Should we just see what's going on with that? This seems a little suspicious. I don't think I've ever had a sanguifage just offered to join me like that before. How you, how's your malaria coming along? Are you good? We're all good. We're all fine, I think. Let's see what happens then. Surgical inspection results. No anomalies. However, a doctor may lie if it's in his own self-interest. What would his self-interest be here? I mean, if it was a lover or a friend, maybe that'd be the case. Or if a doctor himself was an anomaly, that might be the case. Bold goods trader. That's our favorite kind of trader here in Mount Pro Olympus. I need a bit more cloth to finish off the carpets. Uh, what is this here? The growth of Diath. It's thoughtful and eloquent novel written from the point of view of a trader as he seeks the thrill of a forgotten hobby. Thank you. How kind. Now let's get the last of these bloody carpets down. Oh, wow. More progress. You've learned about the obelisk. The device has the power to duplicate intelligent creatures. Hello. Theory, it can produce duplicates without limit. The obelisk appears damaged and unstable, so its energy level rises unless suppressed. If it were activated, it would go into a duplication loop, chaotically pumping out a large number of flawed human duplicate something 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 r slash hentai <laughs> flamingo thinks it may be safely uh possible to safely shut down the obelisk but it will need significantly more study um i'm just gonna i'm just gonna leave it just let it cook duplicate a colonist whoa uh what you, you're telling me i can just duplicate a person ferret i mean ferret is unkillable so we might as well give it a go huh i, I Okay. It's it's Ferret. Ferret the second. Oh, it duplicates them. Ah, damn. I will admit, I was kind of like, okay, I wonder if it will duplicate all the heatips as well. Maybe we could use them to bite someone. Very clever. They've thought of everything. I'm going to get you inspected because this seems mighty suspicious, sir. And that is like too easy. That's like a free extra deathless colonist. And I just do not believe you. Results are early signs of a severe condition that will soon cause severe mental degradation. Sully can't tell exactly what's causing this. They've become very ill in the next few days. I do not believe you for a fucking second. I'm going to arrest you. Okay. Worst case scenario, we could just absorb their Xenogerm into someone else. Who is Cletus married? Cletus is married to Butt. Cletus and Butt, the, the sanguifage couple. Just a nice, kindly couple living in the mountains, cooking pie. Occasionally, you drink the blood of someone who gets lost up there. It's it's all very normal stuff. The duplicate comes to be the real ferret and has joined your colony. It was a Mauler twin shit. You're the original and you're the copy. To be fair, they do have different faces. This person's got a face tattoo. This person doesn't. Oh, no, you do as well. Well, that's terribly confusing. Hold on. The other one's angry at life. Look. Oh, what did that say? Crumbling mind. What the hell? This person is experiencing a rapidly decaying mental state. Within a few days, they're being capable of most work. With sufficient technology like a Helomex serum, the condition can still be reversed. But it will soon become permanent. Um, I, I could just slurp you down like a delicious sanguifage smoothie. We've already got one ferret, yes, and I'm not sure that was supposed to happen in the first place. So maybe Cletus's wife, but, but, but Cletus, could just slurp you down and we could, move, we could all just move on and pretend it never happened. We'll just move on and pretend it didn't happen. That seems like a good idea. Beautiful. 
Sorry, Ferret. Obviously, I don't have a Helomex serum. Uh, I mean, I could have a brain dead sanguifage in the hospital, or we could have Buck Clatus the sanguifage. It's an obvious choice, isn't it? I almost didn't have a choice. Feed the sanguifage to the trees. That can't have any consequences, though it would be awesome if it did. The fuck happened here? Was that the trade caravan? You remember the mufflers were chased by the uh, Nokia sphere? You just randomly dropped me a plasma sword. My god. And more importantly, a flak jacket, so we've actually got some sort of defense. Give Fiery Phil with his 13 melee double passion the plasma sword. He deserves it. The man who defeated the Revenant with fire and fury. That is a thing of beauty right there. <laughs> My god, until we get the spine. I want to study the Revenant for a bit more first, just in case there is some other side effects. Ah, oh, why did I open my mouth? Oh, for God's sake, we've got another one. On the plus side, we should be looking at this as only a good thing, though, right? Uh, Phil, it's time for a bit more Katamari, my friend. I have to assume Phil enjoys pushing the boulder. <laughs> I'm looking at that as what it should be, a free raid. The next time we get uh, a mech cluster or anything of the sort, we just send this boy in. It deals with it in about two seconds flat. Oh, and if it gets out of hand, we just jump in the dirty pit. We probably should just jump in the dirty pit anyway, see what's down there. I don't know if we can get back out. That's my only concern. Possible to climb into the caverns below. You'd assume we'd be able to climb back out. Okay, so study progress. As learn more about the inner workings of it. Seems to have a single purpose to inflict pain. We already know that, what, right? Weaponize the materials. That's to make the uh, insanity weaponry, if I'm not mistaken. When it comes to defeating the unfathomable dirty hole, we already have the right man for the job. <laughs> the weapon floor is just at the right moment. All right, jump in then, Phil. Hello. Flash beast lair. Oh, this isn't nearly as bad as I thought. Oh, no, wait. It is way worse than I thought. Look at all of this. Medicine. Oh. Flash bulb. You want me to poke that? These flesh beasts store and refine nutrients for surrounding flash mass. Generates a soft bioluminescent grow. And then, uh, how do you get out? Sorry. You just climb to the surface. Is it instantaneous? No. That's good to know. I feel like that's a lot of people for one fill to be taken on. Four tough spikes, two finger spikes for now. I bet you have to carve through this, don't you? I wonder if fire works. Plumbability 70%, so maybe not. Well, that's good. Um, I guess we'll deal with that in a second then. Draw shamblers. And with that, we're pretty much done. We got Frenzy and Deuce, and then Bifero at Weaponry, which we can't do until we get... What's our prerequisite for that again? Precision Rifling. I mean, we could queue it up, because we're going to need it eventually, aren't we? Oops. I think we might have pissed them off a little bit. Hello there. Request available mysterious cargo. Do not trust that for a second. Synthesize a serum that can bring dead ghouls back to life. So I wonder if we kill Ronnie, we could... Ah, uh, Connie. We could bring him back with that. Very possible. Um, Biothera Generator for Lophagy. Wow. There's so much that we just don't quite have yet. Brain Wipe. From a psychic ritual that raises much of a person's episodic memories. Traumatic events will be forgotten. Resistant prisons will become easier to recruit. Allows recruiting unwaveringly loyal. Well, that might be one that we actually use in that case. Uh, we don't really need the power right now. Sure, sure, sure. Let's head, head, head up to Brainwipe then. We're not necessarily the good guys. I never said we were. What is this mysterious cargo? What is a biomutation lance? Causes them to transform into a terrifying creature. Oh my god. You don't say. Is that a way to potentially get new things to analyze? Or maybe it will just mutate them into a, a, a flesh beast or a flesh spike or something? I've got to get it, haven't I? The, the Guilty One Medicine, way more useful. But this, though, this is very interesting. If we accept some unspecified cargo. Okay. The mysterious cargo has been de delivered. It is a simple cube that shines like gold, but is impossible to scratch. It is light and warm to the touch. The way light plays across its surface is captivating. Phil feels inexplicably drawn to the cube. The golden cube. What, what are you? What are you? Who are you? Where are you? Where are you? Cube that fits snuggly in the hand. Golden in color. It's always inviting with the warmth of the touch. Like a trusted pet or a hug from a good friend. Those that look closely are rewarded for their attention. The life away light plays across the welcome service. This is the, uh, this is that weird uh, addictive VR headset from Star Trek The Next Generation. Oh, God. That's not good. The discovery of the golden cube has yielded new insights. You can now research the following anomaly project. Pleasure Pulse. Something very different. I think that comes in the uh, shape of a rose or something. I guess I'll lock the, I'll lock the cube up. Oh, let's deal with the flesh piece first. Hold on. One thing at a time, please. That's complete. All they wanted was just to have the cube. Is that what it's going to be? Eventually, all of our people are going to be addicted to the cube, and we have to kind of rip them away from it. Blast it off to some other fool. Why did they stand there and just let us blast them? That was very bizarre. Stella, you might want to swap there, pal. 
Just let Phil, just let Phil take the lead. We're going to be okay. We fought more Flash Beasts than this before. Actually, that's quite a lot. Phil, go up and around. Phil, start carving, my friend. Show you a Doom guy. It's called Phil. That was his real name all along. This is a deep wall. Um, capture the tough spike? No, I think we've only got one containment bay left, haven't we? Yeah, okay. Well, let's finish him off and go grab that cube then. I'll let Phil grab the cube. Is that a bad idea? Where the fuck are you going? Finish off tough spike. Oh! He's got to go and play with the cube. Playing with golden cube. That better give enormous amounts of recreation. It absolutely does not. Oh. So it's more of an addiction than it is a recreation source. Oh, dear. Well, that's going to get very annoying. I feel like we should... You dare separate Phil from his cube. Be gone. Be gone. How dare you? Flash Beast trying to take away Phil's cube. If ever, ever this man needed an excuse to go on a crusade, that was it. Oh, no, 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 no. Up you get. Just putting the cube on a shelf. I don't think so. Can we not? We, we can't put that in storage then, huh? It just sits there menacingly. Ready to study. We, we, we can't put it in a platform? No? The whole colony is going to get obsessed with the cube. And they're going to be killing each other over who should have the cube. I feel like I should blast the cube away before this becomes too late. But I have to see what happens. Our material is beautiful. Very appropriate, given that we're about to dive into the flesh hole. Do we remember one hospital beds before we also jump down there? Seems like a really good idea. Shield? Shields for Phil and Sully. Ooh. Ooh, it's all so tempting. Um, oh, no, I need hospital beds. Where's my search bar gone? Hello. Uh, hospital bed. Yes, please. Oh, my God. Ooh, wait. Maybe this isn't bad? Oh, well, I was going to say I'll send in the sphere, but for two scyther? What the hell kind of a raid is that? What are you talking about, two scyther? Oh, God, Sydney got an infection in his head. Hold on. We've got, we've got you covered. We've got you covered. Don't worry. This hospital is going to be nicer than ever. you just got to be a bit more patient, please, Sydney. Oh, uh, who? Cletus? Cletus, are you good at medicine? Cletus is okay at medicine. Listen, let, let, let Dr. Solly take over there. Thank you, Cletus. All two Scyther are beginning their assault. You know, I think we'll be fine for some reason. Block squad. This is going to be... A oh, the components! Not the bloody components. We've got to take, take it out, take it out, take it out. Thank you. Okay, put the fire out. We'll get those. Oh, here we go. Phil's obsession with the cube has caused him to fall into a daze. He's going to build a sculpture to release the pressure growing in his mind. We do all love the cube. I was blessed by the cube long before Anomaly turned up. <laughs> Rambunculus, I think we meddled with time one too many times, big man. Hello, Scrap Cube Sculpture. Author, Phil, uh, Mr. Mr. Miasop himself. It's a stylized cube. Work invites the viewer to begin making offerings to the cube. Should we, bl should we blast the cube? Oh, God. I feel like this might corrupt my, my favorite and best boy, Phil, if we're not careful. Let it cook a bit longer. We need to be able to understand it so we know how to fight the cube in the future should it become a problem. We need to let Phil maybe sacrifice a bit of his mental sanity in the sake of science. And then if things get out of hand, if two or three people start falling for the cube, we're just going to blast it away. This person is drawn to the golden cube. Separating from the cube for too long, they start to experience negative effects. What happens when that hits 100%? Because clearly that's ticking up. Oh, Phil. Oh, Phil, what have I done? Fascinated. Sleep fall rate is down by 20%. That's good. Global work speed is down by 10%. Though. Ooh. We'll start to experience negative effects if separated for too long. Okay, this is um not good. Everyone's fully healed. I think it's time we get in the pit. Oh, God, Jesus. Don't scare me like that. It's going to be some sort of uh, horrifying, terrifying, electrified monorail. <laughs> flesh beast. I meant flesh beast. Golden cube. Hello. Then we way to deactivate the cube. Ah, oh, good. So it's like to influence anyone who interacts with it. Those under the cube's influence will experience extreme withdrawal if they're separated from it. Okay, Stella, this is on you then, my friend. We're going to go all in on the cube study, if you don't mind. Stella, obviously, we're leaving behind because she is incapable of violent. Well, here goes nothing, I suppose. We are immediately in combat. Oh, God, there's one right there. Uh, listen, I need you to be careful with the, old, with the old friendly fire. Especially you, Cletus. Just be careful. Just be careful. Okay, we've got ourselves a bulkhead here. I feel like the safest thing to do is clear out the ones that we can initially see and move on from there. Oh, look at the god rays. Well, they're not really god rays. They're just they're just a light source. It's called the sun. Real fucking game of moment seeing the sun and calling it god rays. <laughs> Phil has a personal vendetta against these damn flesh beasts for trying to separate him from his delicious tasty cube. Right, you, my friends, keep your distance. I'm a little bit worried about that flamethrower down here. I can't imagine. It counts as indoors. Oh, shit. So we could potentially all melt horribly, is what you're saying? Okay, well, let's be careful then. Let's be careful. Just just keep blasting. Just keep blasting. Them. There you go. Beautiful. Perfect. Got this front area just prepared and oh, ready to go. Anything through there? No, they do automatically attack the flesh by the looks of it. Oh, this is, this is scary. This is scary. I don't like this. Oh, my God. It's enormous. 
It's absolutely massive. Hello? Anybody, anybody down here? Oh, Jesus. There is so much. It's a finger spike there. Be careful. Ah, what is that? Flesh sack. Hello? Oh, I swallowed a lump of flesh with something inside. These stationary flesh beasts act, of, act as digestive organs supplying the surrounding flesh mass with nutrients. However, they're unable to break down non-organic matter, meaning that valuable items can occasionally be found within. It's the pearl. We found the pearl of the flesh beast. Go. It was a fucking shield belt. Oh, my God. A gift for Phil. It was like the best thing my man could have possibly asked for. Holy shit. Grumming sounds. No. Ah, oh, as Phil draws near the flesh mass here... He senses a heavy writhing and throbbing from under its warm surface. Some huge living entities hidden behind the wall of flesh. Really? Oh, dear. Hello? Uh. Oh, God. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit scared. Oh. Dread, dread meld. Is that what that thing is? Oh, shit. I thought we'd already seen one of those. A gargantuan uh, amalgamation of a dozen smaller flesh beasts linked together by a loosely shared central nervous system. Uses its massive claws to dig tunnels through solid rock. Flesh beast dread mounds are rarely seen above ground. Instead, sheltering in caverns built from living flesh. Hello. Okay, you're like the you're like the boss monster then, eh? Regeneration impossible. Creatures experience an impossibly fast rate of regeneration. Oh, not that it is impossible. It's that it is hard to kill. Back Phil off. Bring the squad down. Phil. You can outrun it. Oh yeah, look, it's very different to the other thing with the tentacle mouth. It's got all of the um. All of the horrifying slicey things on it, too, and the finger spike stuff. Beautiful. Provoke pit gate. There you go. Get ready, Phil. This is your adventure in the fleshy hole, my friend. Stop them. Kill them dead. Kill them all. Under cave unstable. Oh, God, it's collapsing. The Dreadmile's death has shot the flesh mass and caused the cave system to destabilize. The flesh mass that supported the cavern is already beginning to deteriorate. Within half a day, it will collapse. Piss and shit and fuck. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. Phil! Not Phil! For God's sake, not Phil! Anybody but Phil, I think we'll be fine. Oh, he's on fire! Oh, not Phil! Stand your ground. This is horrifying. This is scary. Okay, this is getting a little scary now. They'll be okay, they'll be okay, they'll be okay. You'll be fine, you'll be fine. We'll carry, carry them to safety, carry them to safety. Kill the rest. Please fucking hurry up. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Carry Phil, leave the area. Carry Ho, leave the area. Go, 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 get out! Where's the ladder? Where's the ladder? Where's the ladder? Climb the surface. Go, 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 go. Everybody leave. Everybody leave. It said half a day. I think we'll be fine. It said half a day. It said half a day. Go. Go. Beautiful. Sully and Phil. Last one's out. You'll love to see it. Boom. Fuck you, Flash Pit. Is anybody at any immediate risk of dying? Phil's burning out in two. Oh, shit. Okay. Um. Everybody come back. Everybody come back. Everybody come back. Everybody come back. Cletus. Cletus. I need you tending to... You tend to hoe. Sully tend to Phil. And we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Phil's not dying here. He's, he's a goddamn hero. He's not going to die here. Four hours, four hours. He's okay. Sydney's bleeding out. Ferret's got 22. Fer oh, God. Uh, sorry. Ferret's got 10. Flamingo's got 22. Sydney's got five as well. Hold on. Look at this. Clear this. 10 to Ferret. Stella, rescue Ho. But rescue Phil. Let's just avoid some infection where possible. Too late. Phil's got infection in his hand. That's okay. We could just replace it with that frightening uh, blade that we've got lying around. That's pretty good. And as much as I love the Revenant Spine idea thematically, I also... Really love the idea of Phil just being the only normal guy in this colony. A standard, bona fide, factory certified human being. Everyone else is a little bit weird, but are you seriously going to kill butts because you are malnourished? That's your play here. I have a plan. It's probably not going to work. If we light fire to the floor, do you think that will overwrite their... Oh, God. Do you think that will overwrite their... No, murderous rage. Because of the fear of fire, of course, because they're a, they're a bloody sanglophage. Uh, does someone want to put that out, Solly? <laughs> Solly, if you don't mind, you will never get this. This is the smartest thing I've ever done. Fire. Beautiful. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, it backfired somewhat. Oh, God, it backfired. It backfired. It backfired. It backfired. It backfired. Stop! You will never get this. Oh, look, it's collapsing. Here it goes. Goodbye, Pitgate. Wow. Good work, squad. Okay, so we know that's not quite as scary... As maybe I anticipated it would be. I was expecting some sort of massive, uh, like 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 a grave mind or something down there. It's just like a little guy. He's just like a friendly little guy. Hello, you bog good straight because that's all we're interested here in Mount Bro Olympus. Fire worshipper. Also got a goose. You really do like playing with fire. Ambro, your edifice is looking huge. 
Absolutely vascular. No, thank you. Perform a psyche ritual that drains experience from the victim. Thank you very much. Probably not going to do that one too much. Provoke pit gate. That's cool that we can just open those up in the future. Okay, cool. I mean, especially given that it's almost kind of like an ancient danger if you can actually get different rewards from it. Kind of wish I'd have explored the rest of it before we carried on because I don't know the, the limit of what kind of loot you can get. Give me pleasure pulse <laughs> bo incorporated now that is a gamer trader right there what have you got for me creatine i thought i've reset the game surely that should have <laughs> surely that's name should have gone back well never mind we've got another juggernaut serum there beautiful 10 days of non-stop trend power what's we got here Neurocomputation, cataphract armor. Okay, maybe we'll have a chat about that lots of side trainers probably not relevant this time the testament of nana the testament of nana Gives 2.3, sorry, 0.23 pleasure pulse per hour. I don't think I want to know what Nana's testament was. I will definitely take that field hand in that learning system. I can't afford this. Phil, the jump pack is yours, big man. Because, my God, you are going to be... You're already pretty unstoppable. That will help. That will help for sure. And then we'll give Sully the shield belt. Phil, you were the chosen one. I thought you were going to be normal. But, my God, this is really taken... Oh, it's taken hold. Cube interest fascinated there's another cube sculpture right there wow he is throwing those all over the bloody place huh now i feel a little bit better about potentially summoning some more anomalies because we've got hospital beds I feel safe about fighting them honestly we should build some turrets precision rifling would be awesome of course oh shit like armor we just think we just go multi-analyzer fabrication then send it from there i think that might be the best way to go about it here before i fall into my usual trap of piling up a, a massive amount of bionics and they're not using any field hand for you you're missing your pinky on your right hand congratulations get a fresh one got an elbow blade and a learning assistant is the learning assistant like ferret oh i don't really know you know what god damn it stella you know what god damn it stella is it the optimal choice absolutely not is it the correct choice yes Elbow blade. Ah, uh, give the elbow blade to Butt Cletus because she's got 16 melee, so that's a nice fallback. Blade, elbow. Ah, uh. <laughs> can I? Can I? Oh, there we are. Elbow blade. It's right there. Maybe I just don't know how to spell elbow. Who knows? Don't you fuck this up. Don't you fuck this up. Beautiful. There we are. Thank you. And then finally, uh, who's the other one? Stella. Stella. Can we get your? Can we get your learning assistant, please? And we're good. We're good. You kind of expect with 17 medical, we'd be good. What's that? We've almost finished all the research. Frenzy Inducer, thank you. So we need bifarrot rap weaponry for our final basic one, which we can't get. I guess, can, can I disable the, the, the entities for study now? Just maintain only. Nothing else, we're getting bifarrot, right? So that's that's the important part. And then we can re-enable it when we get that final weapon unlock. On the plus side, we get a shitload of regular research done now. What is going on? <laughs> it's so bloody frequent. Valeria, again. Obviously, we don't have the components for it, but I'll just queue it up for now. Okay, we'll just queue up the hospital beds. They're very, very, very high priority. Why wouldn't I? You can have some end tables, and we'll throw down the vitals monitors later on. Beautiful. Oh, well, if you rotate the beds, you can have four beds. Again. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not. Do you don't seem to understand. Build bases for efficiency. I build bases for semi-realism. We are not the same. Don't look at some of my other bases. They're insane. I don't think I want to see the pleasure pulse, Mr. Stark. Okay, well, that's fine, isn't it? That's good. It's nice. Brain wipe, pit gates, or buy a ferro generator. And then we've really got to start summoning some things. In fact, you know what? God damn it. We can't put this off anymore. I was waiting until we were prepared and powerful and mighty. So like ritual area is obstructed. Obstructed by what, you big bitch? What do you mean? Oh, by the statues that... Oh, they have to be outside of the ritual area. 52%. Go on, then. Go on, then. I'm feeling brave. Oh, Phil. Phil got too obsessed with the cube and walked away. Okay, let's try that again. Kalima! Whoa! Void provocation complete. Okay, maybe I should build some turrets. Oh my god, the void that we've prov provocated drives people from the Trebo Treaty. Hello, try saying that five times fast. Hello, how are you doing? Six of them there. Oh, that's a lot of fellas. That's a lot of fellas. Do we unleash the sphere? No. <laughs> no, we never we never unleash the sphere. Jesus, that is a lot of that's a lot of fellas! That's a lot of fellas! Oh, God. Well, to be fair, we've also got a tremendous amount of shotguns. Good lord above. Good lord above. I actually kind of feel bad for them. Phil, get ready, my pal. Get ready, my boy. You're just going to stand there, and if they get too close, you can teach them a lesson. Although I think... Oh, God. Oh, this is actually fucking awful. Oh, this is horrible. Oh, gee. I don't think they did a single piece of damage. Oh, God. They were so pathetic. You got hit by a spear. Asking for a friend. Any of you got a good mining? Got any good mining skill out there? You any good mining? Anybody good at mining? No? Turtle. Uh, has a passion in it, but also slow learning. For God's sake. <sighs> so peaceful. <laughs> as much as I'd love to brain wipe somebody and force them to join us, there was just nobody good. 
This is nobody good. We're running out of research. What happened to that, what happened to that provocation? Should I provoke it again? We've still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more at the advanced level. And then we've got two ultimate. We're not ready for ultimate. We're barely even prepared for basic. Best armor is a cowboy hat, which to be fair is tremendous, but still not quite good enough. We've got lavish meals, by the way. Hey, look at that. What an improvement. Also working on making the base slightly less flammable. And then right on cue, the base catches fire. Wow, that was almost prophetic. What the fuck is happening? What the fuck is happening? What's... Is, is, sorry. Whoa. Hold on. Is this... Is this an anomaly? Or is this a bug? <laughs> What's going on? We are all flamingo on this blessed day. What's happening? Now everybody's Phil. What's happening? Is this a bug? Oh, Jesus Christ. This is not... Oh. I can't zoom in any further. What's happening? Is this legitimately a bug or is this an anomaly? What's going on with your face? What's going on with their faces? They've all become Phil. I don't understand. I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Examine Phil. Is this a bug? I don't know what's happening. Oh, what's happening? Phil hive mind. Boom. Uh, found no anomalies. Okay. Crack open a cobble with the boys. Nothing. No anomalies. I, I totally disagree here. Flamingo. No anomalies. It's either Ferret or Stella then, isn't it? And if it's Stella, maybe he just won't tell us. Oh, Jesus. I don't know what... I don't think this is... I don't think this is an anomaly, but I'm going to double check. Uh, nothing. Go, go, go. In investigate Stella. And... Nothing. What the fuck? Okay, well, let's have a look at the console then. Let's just have a look. No errors. What do you mean, no errors? Look at all this. is so scary. Ah! <laughs> oh, no. Confusion. Ho. It's a bit rude to call me that, but yes, I am quite confused. You're right. I have rebooted the game. And I think everybody's fine. I think we're all fine. I think it may have been a bug and not an actual anomaly. <laughs> that would make a cool anomaly though, where they all get they, they all become hive mind. All hive mind, same person. Maybe this was the power of the cube. You just I just can't tell. A fresh DLC. What the hell else am I supposed to guess when we've got to play an anomaly and then everybody starts transforming into Phil? I think for the purposes of gameplay safety. I will be uh, pausing things here today. Thank you for joining me. We didn't exactly achieve a massive amount. We got the cube. We closed the pit. We didn't really do a lot. I, I mean, we have finished almost all of the research. We've got biotherite, generator, atmospheric heater left. I feel like things are going to be a bit quieter for a while. I don't know if that new update is hit yet. I, I was just reading the, uh, the, the, the proposed changes. Maybe they have already released that. And maybe that's why things have slowed down. Or maybe we need to do something else to the void to get access to those final people. Maybe it's an event or something like that that spawns in all these horrifying creatures. Either way, I think focus shifts back to regular Rimworld Colony. Maybe now it's time to go after the Holy Grail. Sorry, Swoly Grail. Maybe now it's time I focus on getting some, some decent armor, some turrets, a better defense area, stuff like that. And maybe, more importantly, we set up some sort of cubetainment facility where we can try and keep my precious sweet baby boy Phil safe, because if anything happens to him, I'm ending the series. I warn you right now, I don't even care if we don't see the extreme stuff. This is Phil's tale now. Forget about Dr. Sully and Stella, side characters. They have moved aside for the real king of this situation. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, of course, to the executive producer patrons for joining me on our, our weird anomaly adventure. Thinking to Rock Death Raven, Sisery, Cucumber Colored Carabiner. You thought you'd get me with that. You didn't stand a goddamn chance. Christian Copies, T 1 Pokemon Backer, Floofy Prawn, Rolando Secundo, Harpio, Matman, Commissar Fox, Ash Suna, Ait, Christopher Peck, El Zilcho, Super the Tuba, Buck Snadger. Gamerman7799, Nancy Drow, Chief, Werewolf, Night Rouge, Brambio, Danny the Dandelion, Mostly Harmless, and Roan for their support. Uh, support, support for their support? Oh dear. This has gone horribly wrong. Quickly move on. Thank you to J520,000, Audrey Hershenson, Mickey J187, Erotha, Lockett, Dineosatan, Mithrin, Oliver, The Merp, Crowdslayer07, Layforce, Toasty Buns, No Thor, Ed, Empty, MW, and. Schrader as well. Come back tomorrow for a little entity exploration. If we don't find anything tomorrow, I guess I could do a little research. See if there's something important that we have to trigger or something we have to achieve. A certain number of colonists, for example. Maybe a, a certain number of colony wealth. Building a building. Who knows?